Hey everybody, Logan here. Today's video, we are unboxing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Deluxe Edition. Yes, I bet you're wondering why is this video technically a day late? <sighs> Shipping. So I didn't get mine until much later in the day, and I was also waiting until I got the pre-order bonuses from Best Buy, because I did mine online and I was supposed to get a collector's tin, which got delayed. So with that being said, I got an email today saying, oh, I won't get it for another three days. So that sucks. But I still wanted to make this video so you guys can see everything that's in here because a lot of people weren't able to get it. I have uh, associates and friends on uh, social media that were able to get it, but the majority of people I know were not able to get this uh, version. So I figured, okay, let me open it up. Let me show you what's in here. I'm not even 100% sure what's in here besides what's on the back. And we're going to take a closer look at that. So, I'm really excited to play this game. Now, one thing I will say that I did find out, if you don't know already, before you play this, make sure you either play uh, the Intermission DLC or catch up on the story from it. I totally forgot about it because I had beaten it, I don't know how many years before it came out, and then I got it on P PlayStation 5, totally forgot about the Intermission, recently went back and played it. So, I'm ready for the game. But, if you aren't, make sure you play that, otherwise you're going to be missing a big chunk of story. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Let's open this bad boy up, see what's inside. Alrighty, here we go. Look at that gloss. And then the, the plastic, you can see me in it. Hey, kind of blurry, but still. So this is the Deluxe Edition, Defy Destiny Together says deluxe edition includes exclusive steel book case reversible cover what does that say uh mini soundtrack cd hardback art book like i said in my intro i was supposed to get another steel book case from best buy but they decided to ship it separately. One came FedEx, the other one, this came FedEx, the other one uh, came UPS, or was coming UPS, and then I got uh, an email that said it will be delayed another three days. How about that? And it didn't give me a reason why. So that's why it's not gonna make it into the video, but look uh, forward to seeing it later in a future short. All right, let's open this and not damage it. So if this is going to go, let me open it on this side because the other side is the side that's going to face out. There we go. I love getting me some special editions. So we got the game here. Now, Best Buy also sent me DLC via email. So there's that as well if you pre-order it from there. So, the game's actually kind of hefty. That is the collector's tin steelbook. Pretty simplistic. The art of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Let's take a quick look. Wait, what is this? Oh, uh, old school, old school. Really, this is really one of the big things about this game. The artwork is fantastic. The battle system leaves a lot to be desired. From what I heard, you don't play a Sid, and he's one of my favorite characters. So I hope that's not true. But yeah, the the artwork is fan friggin' tastic. I really wish I'm I'm one of those people that wishes the turn-based battle systems had remained, but a lot of people are like, oh it's too boring. Oh it's too hard. Oh me 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 that's the internet today. And apparently uh Squeenix listened and said, Alright, we're gonna appeal to the people that cry a lot. So this is a mini soundtrack. I actually thought it was gonna be a mini disc. So mini soundtrack meaning it only has twelve tracks so let's see what's inside i love the fact and i said this in previous unboxing videos that they're still doing cds 
And then people, there are people out there complaining, but who has a CD player? Yeah, get one. They're not expensive. You can afford this collector's edition of a game, you can afford a CD player. And I still have CD players. Now, eventually, some places are going to actually put them on USBs. USBs will actually be pretty cheap, but these are pretty cheap to, to manufacture compared to uh, USB drives. That's pretty cool. I do like that. I really do like that. So let's see what's actually in the game. Okay, it's not one of those. If you guys haven't figured out, there are a lot of game uh, games that you can open up by just sticking your finger there and going pop because the plastic is really thin. So, or the seal for it's on the side instead of on the top. Makes it a lot easier. Wow, multiple discs here. So we got the play disc. Now one thing I did hear about, if you got the Japanese version, the play disc and the install disc, ah, same thing, um, were swapped. So hold on, we got pre-ordered, okay. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't a DLC code. There you go, okay. So interesting. Now you see this, the anniversary art museum, the Final Fantasy VII digital card? I actually bought packs of those. It says digital card, but they're physical cards. I don't know, but I, I bought a pack. So this is two discs, install your data disc, and insert play second disc. So that's where it's gonna play. That's a that's a pretty hefty amount. Think about the, the size of this game. Remember Final Fantasy VII was what, three discs? Now, ultimately, when you put this game together, how many discs is this gonna be at the end? Like 10 discs? I don't know how many more parts you're going to have. I think we're going to have maybe, depending on where this one ends, one or two more parts. I think it's going to end up being four parts. I don't know. Watch it end up being like seven parts. And then for the PlayStation 7, we, we joked about it being the PlayStation 6, but the PlayStation 7, you're going to have a compilation where you have all the games in one. And it's going to be like half a dozen discs. But hey, there we go. There is the... Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Deluxe Edition and me ranting on for no reason, just because uh, if I wasn't talking, this would be a pretty boring video now, wouldn't it? Yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Uh, hopefully you like this. If you weren't able to get this Deluxe Edition, you now know what's in it. And uh, Or if you are on the fence about getting it and you can get one and you didn't know if you wanted to spend the money, if you like what's in here, there you go. I like the fact that we got the art book and the soundtrack. Those are really important things for me. And of course, the game itself. But thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. God bless. And like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.